All right, we're back. And this is the part that Grant makes it a lot easier, not just because, you know, you can just sit on the platforms here. So you know only the platforms will break apart, but if you hang on the bottom of them, they don't. I don't know if they intentionally did it that way, or it was just kind of a bug, or... Either way, makes that part a lot less stressful. Had more hearts, but it's okay. And here's Evil Flame Part 2. And you can probably imagine, thanks to Grant, it's gonna be kind of a joke. Come on, Flame, let's go. Mommy's, 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 mommy's. And he won't come over here. So we're just gonna switch to Grant and just be cheap and pelt him. The knife. Ah, yeah, when you figure this kind of stuff out, it really does make the game be a lot cheaper. But second quest is still pretty hard, which I won't be doing because it's just, I, again, I'm just having fun here, mostly. If you want to see amazing Castlevania players, look on YouTube, you see the, you know, they're way, way better than I would ever be. Or I just care to be. I just enjoy playing him. Alright, now you'd think we'd switch to Trevor, but nope. We're still gonna use Grant here. Just because he can get through. Oops. If he's faster, he can get underneath the Leviathan here. I think that's what it's supposed to be. A lot easier. With Trevor, you gotta wait for that third jump or you're screwed. Right, you can still sit on a normal jump. Took a few hits, but eh. And that's the end of him. Kind of a dumb boss, but the game does quite push the Famicom to its limits. And you're probably running out of room, even with the custom mapper they use. It's just a normal sized cart. There are some Family carts that are huge because they've got, you know, larger ROMs in them. Like, there's a Final Fantasy 1 and 2 combined cart, which I don't have because I don't really like the series. But, yeah, Famicom carts are in all shapes and sizes. It's a lot more interesting to. Kind of fine, then. Ah! Not that it matters, there's another one, but. Yeah, this is Dev's level. And. Dev used to drive me crazy, and I used to think he was really hard, but. Not if you know how to fight him properly. And especially with, you know, Super Grant here. It makes things way, way easier. Again, if you want to tell me that I'm not, you know, really playing Castlevania, I'm just doing it the cheap way, go, go for it, I don't really care. Uh, I love my hard arcade games, but... I don't know, for, I just like relaxing Nintendo games. I don't need to be a pro with them, like... Oh, arcade games cost a lot of money. I don't really feel like I've beaten them unless I can waste one credit for them. Not so much with, you know, Nintendo games. Funny though, in all the Castlevania games, we usually hate the dagger, but Grant's dagger is your best friend. Dun, 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 dun. Watch. Dun, 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 dun.
triple shot. Oh, oh, I don't really need it. Dun, dun, dun. Then I hope I can be deaf in the first try. I usually can. This might kill me a couple tries, though. Easy, but a little bit of luck does help. Of course, the key is to just use the good old cross. So first you get it, then you come over here, see if it's a double shot for it, which makes it a lot easier. Do the videos quite fast and everywhere. But, you know, as long as you get to the full health, the cross can double shot. Triple shot can be better, but hard to do. Shouldn't be much of a problem. It's the next level of the doppelganger that worries me, because I suck at the doppelganger. The only way I can beat him is, well, I'll get to that after death, but I can only beat him one way, and if I mess it up, I can have to restart the level and then to continue. Hopefully I won't have to do that, but don't be surprised. Alright, so, the key to death here is just to switch back and forth between Grant and Trevor, because Grant can get up the platforms and make the jumps a hell of a lot easier than Trevor can. Oops. Alright, and now, for the second form, we're gonna switch to bring it. Shit, get up there, get up there! Ah. Crap, that was bad. I messed that up. My hands are getting sweaty, not good. It's easy to fall for five, but as you can see, yeah. Uh, the key is to just use Grant so you can easily get up on the platforms and then just toss there. Nice unlimited dagger in his face, and yeah, there goes death. Again, if you're only using Trevor, things are a lot harder, especially because you can't use the cross won't work on a second form. You actually have to use a main weapon. You can only use it to destroy the little site, but it's a lot easier just using him even just to jump on the columns because they're the blocks, because then you can get around them. A lot harder otherwise. Alright, this is the one level that might take a few tries, because it's tough. Well, specifically the doppelganger is tough. And my typical strategy is to get the axe from Trevor and to use that. If, if I have at least a double shot, I should be able Okay, but if I screw it up and I don't get there with it, there's a good chance I'm just going to die and get game over and then have to do it again. And again, since I'm doing this fully live, I mean, I could theoretically edit it out, but I'd rather not do that. I think people like watching me, you know, screw up anyway. I know the guy that actually asked me to make this video certainly does. So. Which, I don't know, it's interesting, because, you know, you see a lot of, like, perfect play videos on YouTube and stuff, and, you know, I've done some myself, and there's two kinds, I don't know, you know, a lot of those ones are people practice forever. A lot of mine, honestly, are kind of flukes. Oh, the timer wrong. Like, my Splatterhouse one was, you know, I wasn't even trying to do that. <laughs> just did it, and had the recorder running. I was like, oh, that's cool. Pretty long level too. If I could, I'm pretty sure it's actually longer than the final level, which is after this one. Dun, dun, dun. That was close. Dun, dun, dun. Jump. Jump. Thank you. 
Now, hopefully, if I can keep that, I'll be able to pick up a triple shot right before the doppelganger, and that'll make things a hell of a lot easier. Okay, so this part can be tricky unless you spam it with Grant, because it's just like the Frankenstein level. You know, it's the same thing. Slightly different layout. I do like the waterfall in the background, though. Not really sure why Dragville's castle would have a waterfall in it, but pretty, though. For any, for, you know, 1989, this is pretty damn nice looking. So yeah, this part, you know, just take your time through it. Chuck daggers at them. And as long as you don't, you know, underestimate the gargoyles. Cause, well, they do have, you know, a kind of a set path. If they get close to you, they'll actually go a lot yeah, like that, will dive down at you, which makes them a bit scary. Because you'll think you dodged them when you really haven't. Dun, dun. Interesting how they bring back the, you know, the little weekly knights here. But yeah, if you notice, you do definitely take less damage in the later levels. It's just... Because I think it's based on, like, levels. I forget exactly. There's websites that have all the possible details you could ever want. But... Overall, this is definitely the easier version. And Grant just... Super Grant here just makes things even easier. Da da da! Ah! No! Stick! My hands are sweaty, unfortunately. Very humid weather right now. Yeah, there's a little one up there you can grab. I'm almost looking not to grab it though, because if I do screw this level up, there's a very good chance I just have to get to suicide a few times and continue. Hopefully it won't come to that though. Get up there! Get up there! Oops. That was not cool, not cool at all. Uh, let's hide the corner here. Mm, it's a little more damage than I would have liked to. But, there is meat here, so I'm gonna screw this up too. Good. Okay, now comes the kind of the moment of truth for getting through this level. And I'm gonna pause the video here, I think, because I hate this part, and I don't want to sweat off my hands. <laughs>